Hi everybody and thanks for watching another SM Scrapper video. So I find myself in clutter world right now because my room is upside down. There are um, birthday party decorations all over the place and I'm not done. And you know I figured um, I'm doing some of these things so I might just show them off. Not show them off but you know show you how to make them. Um, Unfortunately, I finished my Starburst things. Let me get this off the um, tripod so I can show you. Okay, let me just cover because there's such a mess. You don't even want to see. You don't want to see. You don't want to see it. Um, so I finished these already. Look how cute. Uh, let me get this one out of the way. See how cute that is? I hope the lighting's okay. Um, then I finished these also. Um, okay, let's see, because I have everywhere. There's, they're everywhere. Look at these. The orange ones have the same kind of owl. So I've done with this, so I didn't film how I made these, but... It was a Martha Stewart kit. You can also do it with paper bags. It's very simple. But, um, took me a while to figure it out. But I figured it out. So that's that. So what I'm going to show you how to make are these. Which you could do if you have tissue paper in your house. Because it's simple as can be. Okay, let's walk back to my work area. And let's set up the camera. And let's see if I can make this work. There you go. Alright, so basically what you're going to do is, if you don't have these, these come in a kit. In a Martha Stewart kit that, you know, looks something like that. And, um, well actually, it looks something like this. Um, I got them at Marshalls for $5.99 and you can make seven out of this pack and it's a ton of tissue paper ton so basically um, these are what the bunch you know what each one look it, they don't come like this they come like tissue paper just packs like this and you know they have like an edge on them you can cut that out yourself with your regular tissue paper um, so um, what you do is you know they come scored kind of and you fold them up accordion style like this then you open them up fluff them up and what I'm doing is instead of using the the wire that comes with it I thought it was too short I am um, putting a string on them um, let me see if I can show you hold on let me get one it, I'm, I'm putting a string in the center see and that's how I fold it with a string not a string but ribbon um, because I'm going to hang them, obviously. And, um, basically this is what they're going to end up looking like right before they turn into what you just saw. So, what I'm doing is I'm just folding them all first and then I'm going to fluff them up. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take, I think this is a little one. No, this is a big one. Let me take a little one so it fits in the camera. So, this is what the tissue paper that comes looks like it's you know regular tissue paper it just has an edge and that's it so what you do is you start I hope you can see I'm trying to do it with the camera there you start folding in accordion style what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn sideways let me get these out of the way and you fold them like that. I hope I'm in frame because I'm not even paying attention. So that's how you do it. Everybody knows how to fold an accordion fold. That's what you do. All the way to the other end of the tissue paper. If you're not doing it with a kit, 
um, and you're doing it with your own tissue paper, what you do is you lay all your layers on top and then you cut them however you want. You can cut them like this. You can also cut them like this. So it's, I mean, it's a very simple cut. And my phone's ringing right now. So, um, I'll let it ring because I want to finish this. It's my hubby, so I can call him right back when I'm done. I'm actually having a break day. Today he took, um, my daughter up with him, um, up north to see his parents. They live like 45 minutes away and my niece is having a football game and they're going to the park and you know I needed a break so I've been here all alone in the afternoon but I've been very busy. Um, so we're almost done. be honest, I don't even know what I was thinking when I said I was going to do up decorations for this thing because knowing me, I'm like a perfectionist and if things aren't the way I want them, like, is a problem because, you know, that's just the way I am. And oh, if these decorations are not what I like them to be, you know, it, it's going to be a problem. And I've been, um, working really hard trying to make them look nice because it's just you know it's her first birthday I want it to look nice it's gonna be a little thing just with the family but still you know want them to look nice so anyways that's what it's gonna look like once you're done folding it and you're gonna take some um, wire this one you know they come like this just some wire um, these come in the kit, but you can use your own wire. Make sure it's like a heavy grade, it's not too flimsy, because this is what's going to hold this together. Oh, let me put it up here. You're going to fold it, and you're going to just secure this tight in the middle. And then what I do is, I take my um, wire cutters and cut and that's what it's gonna look like okay I think it's not focusing so that's what it's gonna look like so that's what these things are right now so then after that what I did was I took some ribbon like this probably like I don't know 36 inches um, because I want them to hang nicely. I took my glue gun. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use do a little one. This one. And in the bottom, not where the thing lies here, but right here in the bottom, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Okay. Just a little bit. I've been having a hard time with this glue gun. Then um, I'm going to take half. Go like that. I don't know if you understood me, but you know, glue the bottom of the ribbon right there, and then you put a knot on the top. So that's where your um, wall, your ball is going to hang from your, you know, when you're done. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your folds that you already made. And you're going to pull them up each layer. Like this. And you're going to do that all throughout the um, pom pom, whatever you want to call it, ball, puff, whatever, decoration. And you're going to do that all the way. around and usually what I do is I do half up and then I flip it around and I do this half down because then it makes it easier to um, shape up after all the layers have been peeled 
So there's tons of layers here. And you got to be very gentle because tissue paper is very delicate and it um it breaks really easily. So as you can see, it's starting to take form. See? Let me do one more layer on this side. It's kind of difficult doing this with the camera right in my face. I wish I had a, like a some way of um, doing my camera so it doesn't have so the tripod's not right in my face. But I don't have a wall in front of my desk, so I can't like position the see how it's coming along I can't position the um, tripod from the top so I have to just do it how I'm doing it hopefully you're able to see what I'm doing what I did now is that I turned it and I'm pulling it down up I mean up on the other side as well It's super simple. And then once you're done with all this, you just shape the ball how you want it to be. So um, I think each one of these is like 10 layers of tissue paper. Just for you to have an idea of what it is for when you're making it with your own paper. Oops, you see how that broke right there? Because I was a little rough. But I can rip it off. It's not a big deal because this is a messy um, ball. You, like, you can't see the detail. Okay, we're almost done with the layers. more. I'm sorry that my camera keeps going off focus, but okay, there's one on this side that I didn't do. Okay, and make sure that you always keep the ribbon from the top. See if I can back up. Let me get this off so you can see. See? So after you fluff it up, that's what you end up with. A nice little puffy thing. That looks really cute for um, your party decoration. And let me get you the thing. Looks like that when you hang it. Well, these are the instructions. These are black and white. Let me get you... Um, This is what they look like. So really simple. I hope you understood how I made it. Okay, I'm trying to put this back in the tripod. Okay, so I hope you got it. I hope you um, try it out. It's super simple. You can do it with your own tissue paper. You don't have to buy the kit. It's super, super easy. All you do is fluff it all up. And there you go. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope um, it was helpful. Bye.